What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone! So today I am here with my July TBR. My cat has been really, really cuddly the past couple of days, so she might just be here. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so today I am here to do my July TBR. Obviously this is coming a little bit late just because the first week of the month was Tome Topple, so I was going off of my Tome Topple TBR obviously, and yes, getting the elephant out of the room if you guys didn't see my last video because it was a K-pop video, yes I cut my hair like 9 inches, it was like here, and now it's up here. Um, this is not the first time I've had short hair, I actually had short hair for most of my life it was that that long hair you guys saw that was like a first time thing for me but I actually really really love this it was completely impulsive as in like thought of it in the morning got it in the afternoon kind of hair deciding um but I actually love it I think I might actually just keep my hair this way but we'll see I like to change up my hair often but yes uh so today I'm gonna be doing my July TBR really quick for you guys because I only have five books left on my TBR. I will be making a whole video about this when I do finish these five books, but I only have five books left on my TBR and I plan on finishing it this month, hopefully. That is my goal, is to finish it this month because of reasons I'll talk about in that video that I'm planning on making after I'm all done. So yes, I'm just going to really quickly show you guys the five books I finally, I, I have left on my TBR. So the first book I'm planning on reading is going to be Buddy Read with Graham because he's, well actually we do Buddy Reads anyways, but he's also back on booktube finally. But we are doing a Buddy Read of Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinbro. This is a thriller that I've had on my TBR for the past couple of months and um, I'm just really excited to get to this. I hear that the ending is crazy and people either love it or really really hate it. So I'm kind of, I'm just hoping I'm in the love it category because I kind of like when thrillers come out of left field like oh no I'm not I, I kind of like it so this is the first book that I will be reading we are going to start it like the day after Tome Topple so this will be happening very soon and then the next book that I have that I want to read is a little tiny one and that is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer um when I said five books on my TBR I don't count like next books in series because I do have the rest of the books in the series but I just kind of count it as one thing but I definitely want to get to the first book obviously this month I did start it I got like 15 pages in but I wasn't in the mood for it so I hope this time when I pick it up I'm actually in the mood for it so there you go Next up is a book that I bought that I've uh, never heard anyone talk about and I had been planning on reading it last month but I didn't get to it and that is Dear Emma by Katie Heaney. I've already talked about what this book is about a couple of times before. It's about a girl who runs a like advice column and the girl who is dating her ex-boyfriend writes in for romantic advice and she has to decide whether to be a good person and like respond nicely or kind of screw up her relationship. So yes, I also started this one but like it didn't even get that far into it. I just wasn't in the mood. What? What? So the next one is the book that has probably been on my TBR the longest but I feel like this is a good summer book. It's a YA like magical realism contemporary kind of book um, and that is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie Mecklemore. I've never read anything by her, but I hear really, really great things about this author, which makes me very excited. I think this book is about a bunch of bisexual ladies who can make flowers grow. What well, more could you really ask for, if I'm completely honest? <laughs> and then the last book I bought, I totally bought because of the hype it was getting from BookCon and Book Expo or BA or whatever the heck it is. And that is... Frostblood by Ellie Blake. Basically the author basically said that this was inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender and then proceeded to ask the group of people that was gathered at this BEA event if they all had a crush on Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender and honestly if the author feels like that I think we're gonna get along. I'm hoping there is a Zuko character in this book because I'll be very happy about it and this is a fantasy novel. I don't really remember. I don't, I don't really know what it's about besides this fantasy and Zuko and Avatar. It looks like this was a school book. This has like a name and like a number, like a like number 41 written in it. That would be so cool if you had to read this for school. What? 
Anyways, yes, I am going to try this one. I've been getting back into fantasy recently, so this will be a fun one. So those are the five physical books that I have to read for the rest of this month. Hopefully I will finish these in two weeks. Who knows, because I'm kind of taking this class online for school and it's kind of low-key really, really hard. But um, anyways, and I also work full-time, so we'll see. But I hope, I hope. And also I'm just going to quickly mention a couple of audiobooks because I have started using audiobooks because I work full-time-ish and I basically get to sit at a desk and listen to audiobooks for like seven or eight hours a day. So I started using audiobooks and the audiobook that I'm going to continue listening to, I barely started it during Tom Topple, but I'm going to continue listening to A Little Life by Hanya Yanigahara. This is huge. The audiobook is like 35 hours or like 40 hours or something crazy like that. So I still have a long time to go in this one. So that might take me a while to read, maybe the rest of the month, maybe a week of the month. And after I finish that, I will just be moving on to another audiobook that I have from Scrooge. I have a couple options like The Hating Game, Carve the Mark, Dread Nation, and I think a couple others, but yeah. I just kind of pick audiobooks at random. It's always just books that I like vaguely have on my TBR, but don't actually care that much about that I listen to on audiobook, because why not? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and definitely tell me down below if you've read any of these books. And tell me what you thought about them, especially any of these. Like, tell me if they're, like, your favorite book ever so I get excited for them. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I love y'all, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!